Hey there, welcome. Jen here, and this is a happy bit. We're talking today about all of those past hurts that influence how we think and interact. How do you let go and forgive? How do you heal your heart? We'll be talking about this in this happy bit, but first, a quick word from our sponsor. You guys, I am obsessed with Knipe bath and body care products. Knipe is so good. It was founded in 1891 in Bavaria, Germany by a priest who happened to be the founder of the naturopathic and hydrotherapy movement. And everything he learned about herbal remedies has inspired the Knipe products today. My favorite Knipe product is the foot repair butter. Every summer, I have calluses and cracks on the heels of my feet. So this year, I vowed to find a solution. And Knipe Foot Repair Butter has done just that. The Foot Repair Butter has calendula and orange and shea butter and other moisture-retaining ingredients, along with rosemary essential oil, which promotes circulation and really revitalizes your feet. I love that little self-care routine at the end of the day, putting this on my feet, and they look so amazing. My feet look as good as my little girl's. No more old lady feet for me. <laughs> I love Knipe and I trust them because they are paraben free, cruelty free, vegan. They have no preservatives, paraffins, silicones, or mineral oils. It's all healthy and natural, nourishing ingredients that you will love on your skin. Last year, Knipe was awarded the Green Brand Seal for the third time. And this award only goes to brands that use environmentally sound practices that are sustainable. You have to try some of the Knipe products, especially the Foot Repair Butter or the bath oils ugh, to die for. And you can get 15% off your first order by going to kneipp.com and use promo code HAPPYWOMEN. Be sure to enter Happy Women in all caps at checkout. Again, get 15% off your first order at Knipe by going to kneipp.com and enter promo code HAPPYWOMEN in all caps at checkout. How do you let go of all of those past experiences that hurt you? You might think you've let them go, but they still influence how you think, how you're able to trust, how much you're able to connect on that emotionally intimate level. Well, in my past, I didn't have any super big trauma. More so, I had a collection of mini traumas, and I think we all have that. I've shared before, I remember having my mom scream at me when I slammed my brother's fingers in the door, or my mom, my mom and dad criticizing me for making too much tuna noodle casserole for dinner. It was my favorite meal in high school, and I made it all the time. And so on the farm, it was my job to do the meals because I was good at it. And so I worked really hard and I had the house clean, but they didn't want my tuna noodle. I laugh now, but it did hurt my feelings then. So we all have these hurts built up. Now, if you have a significant trauma from your past, it can really influence your ability to trust. How do we let go of those things? Well, there are several ways, and I'm going to talk about two of those. First is the emotional detox guided meditation. Those of you who are in the Vibrant Happy Women Club or my Heal Your Heart program know all about the emotional detox guided meditations. There's one that's five minutes, one that's 30 minutes, and one that's 60 minutes. These are the perfect way to relax yourself, kind of start thinking more in the subconscious realm and understanding how you feel. Essentially, you remember all of these feelings you've had as I guide you through this meditation and you feel it to heal it. And students tell me it works. It makes them feel lighter. They feel better afterwards and it just starts to help them let go. All of these emotions we experience have to be felt. Why? they're still there. You know, our brain is kind of timeless. Everything we've ever experienced in our little blank slate when we were born is still there, whether we remember it consciously or not. All of those emotions are wired in with various memories. I just had a friend, Kathy, talking about feeling triggered when she smells certain smells. Those smells are attached to certain memories. And when she smells those things, the memory comes up for her. Isn't that amazing? And the same thing happens with various things we see, songs we hear. Maybe for you, it's smell or the way someone touches your arm. All of these things are wired there. So if you didn't process past hurts fully, then it's a great idea to do the emotional detox, to go back and remember each painful experience that you're aware of one by one and feel it, feel it. First, identify what you're feeling, name the emotion. Maybe next you understand, where am I feeling this in my body? And then truly feel it without fear, without running, being still 
knowing what's going on inside of you. And then you'll notice it starts to dissolve simply because you gave it the attention it deserves. And you can let that go. Now, the emotional detox is great to use again and again as you're triggered, as these emotions and memories come up, or maybe as something new is happening in your life. You can go back to those methods of breathing and relaxing and understanding, oh, this is what I'm feeling. This is where I'm feeling it in my body, and I'm going to feel it to heal it and let this go. All of this helps us return more to our authentic state of living, our authentic state of being, our true self. We can be less reactive more calm, more in control of how we feel, how we speak, and how we interact with our loved ones. The second thing I wanted to talk about is called EMDR. Now, that stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. Now, essentially, EMDR helps you connect both sides of your brain as you remember various memories. And I won't go into details. You can Google it or look on Wikipedia, EMDR. But the more I interact in the life coaching field and in the therapy field, I've learned that it's kind of a miraculous form of healing from past hurts. People who do EMDR report, yes, a lot of emotion comes up, but they start to feel lighter and happier really, really fast. And the therapists I've talked to who are trained in EMDR say the same thing. It's really quite miraculous. So you can look up EMDR trained therapists in your area and try it out especially if you're done feeling hurt or resentful or carrying a grudge, or it's causing you not to be able to trust, you can let that stuff go and really start moving forward. So EMDR and emotional detox guided meditations. Now I'm gonna give you a copy of the five minute emotional detox guided meditation. You can get yours by going to jenride.com forward slash emotional detox jenride.com forward slash emotional detox. Use this to stay calm and to get a taste for it. And if you want to get all three versions of this, just join us in the Vibrant Happy Women Club. It's one of the bonuses for being a member. You can do that at vibranthappywomenclub.com. Look, we have one shot at this life and I want you to be the happiest version of yourself. Calm, collected and in control and not being triggered by all of those emotions that are stored in your brain. You can literally rewire things simply by using this feel it to heal it method through emotional detoxing or EMDR work. And those are a couple of tools I wanted to share with you today. And I will be back next week talking with Tiffany King all about amazing meal plans that will actually work in a busy lifestyle. I will see you then. And until then, have a phenomenal weekend and take care. Thanks for listening to the Vibrant Happy Women podcast at www.jenride.com.